Hey, best friend. Girl, what you doing? Hey, the best squad. It's your girl, Ebony, the best. So, guys, it seems as if because the millimeters haven't shown Carlos King that we are still trying to be in block out mode. So, because you haven't heard us say anything about it, y'all went ahead and sneak Martel onto the show by having him tape with stormy and then you sneak and put destiny back okay so since it's blackout you want again we're gonna show you that the movement didn't die we just did it out of courtesy for melody so now you're sneaking people on the show okay so as you all aware uh the best squad that stormy alleged well had an invite only event and apparently um, the only people that was there uh, from the cast members. Before I get there, girl, this event had people swinging from the chandelier. I mean, from the bathroom shower, wherever she would look. Look, I hope I don't get strike for this. But people were swinging all over this place. Uh, Selena and Latrice was there. Um, I saw a picture of also, I think it was uh, Selena, Selena's husband. Um, Selena's husband, because I know they're married, and, um, Latrice and her husband was there. So, it just seemed as if, you know, like they said, it was a, a invite, invite only. And, um, she wanted, I guess, Destiny. She wanted Martel. And she wanted Nell. And, you know, Nell's going to try to be in everything. Her husband was there. Nell's going to try to be in everything because she wants to be included in everything that's going on with Love and Marriage Huntsville, right? So, my thing is, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm thinking that Stormy would probably would have, you know, because she did say that it, the fans want her and Melody to have some sort of beef. I see that Mel is still following her. She's following Mel. Mama Van is following her. She did make made it seem as if, you know, it was the fans who was trying to have her, um, her and Mel had beef. And she did say in one of her videos when she was trying to explain the whole Ariane friendship or lack thereof. Um, I, again, I would not as a mom, as a wife, as a woman in general, would not want to have somebody who, you know, he's being accused of doing the things that he has done to his children right the things that he has done to melody trying to put out revenge p i really thought that stormy was trying to change right uh, um from trying to you know be that person that you need somebody to i don't know i don't know how to put it with her um i thought she would you know for once, say, you know what, Martel, just like how she stood up to him and said, you cheated. The bottom line is you cheated. This is a man who has to, you know, take time to go see uh, help, mental mental health, right? Because of the things that he's doing to his children. So you would think at some point, either her, because she said it's Courtney's friend, which I don't even see them hang out that much on the show for them to be best friends like that, right? And if that's be the case, if you and Courtney's friend, did Courtney know that Martel was seeing Slaw on the side? If they're friends like that? Because the Scott seems to know about it. So for Stormy to say that she wasn't aware of it on t because the only way she knew was, uh, I guess, what what was it again? Uh, the girl had some friend that worked at the warehouse. Y'all, I don't know. I don't know. But it just, I, at some point, I would love to see Stormy stand for something. Stand for something. You know, just be like, you know what? I, 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 this, I, I'm running a business, a woman, black woman run business. I'm sure some white people bought her stuff too, but I'm running a business that's woman based. And for a man to be doing these things that Martel now has to see a psychologist, psychologist for, 
that the judge de deemed deemed for him to see, then that must be something in something. Y'all just can't continue to do play a blind eye to the, to this whole situation. It's like a slap in Mel's face. And Carlos, you might have sneaked Martel on, but don't get cocky or quiet because you don't see us doing any block out. We're, we're not doing the block out again because, you know, Love and Mayor Transville is Mel's baby. And don't think because you don't see us not doing it. We can start it back up. I think you're getting too comfortable with us not blocking out and having them numbers real low, right? Oh. Anyway, guys, we don't know if it's going to be shown on TV. I did saw a cameraman. I don't know if it's going to be shown there because they didn't show the pasture scene. And maybe they're going to show that this season, too. I don't know. But in other news, since y'all already know what's going on with all the content creators channel, um, we're going to mix it up a little bit. Oh, and I wanted to share with you guys that I think I saw this on the Shade Room. So it says... Uh, two people injured after shooting at Pastor Osteen Church, Lakewood Church. So it says, according to CNN, two people were injured after an uh, active shooter situation at Joel Holstein Lakewood Church. A woman carrying a long gun rifle entered into the church and opened fire. She was with a child as the shooting took place. Two of the duty houston police officer were uh, were able to um approach her and shot her yikes she blank oh lord so she expired at the scene um it says the five-year-old child the suspect with was with she uh almost met with blank fire and is in critical condition at the local hospital. Authorities said it was unclear, blank, the child at this time. Like who, you know, I can't say the word, but a 52-year-old uh, male was also uh, shot. Yikes. I was shot in the leg during the tragic event and is in the hospital receiving treatment. The police chief said, I want to commend those officers. She had a long rifle and could have been a lot worse, but they stepped up and did their job, and I want to thank them. Now, I don't know how this woman got in there to carry that firearm and who she was really targeting why she was even targeting anybody um i i really don't listen to to this guy because from what i understand um he stated that he's not really a pastor he's just a motivational speaker so you will not hear any message from him that says seek the lord repent uh do anything like that you will only hear message of wealth and those are not my words those were his words he said he couldn't be like his father who was a pentecostal preacher and he was just a guy that his dad on his deathbed wanted to take over the family business of running the church so i really don't listen to him i don't i don't, I don't need all of that um that what he has to say i get i'll get my message where i get my message but it won't be from him and my thing is that I was very upset about that at one point, it was alleged. Well, it wasn't alleged because they did do it. His wife wanted to use over $5 million to open up a skincare that will make you look so much younger and prettier. Yeah, she's beautiful. But I don't believe on the day God is going to say, oh, wow, you look so beautiful. You kept yourself up. No. And I'm sure that money could be used to help somebody in that church to pay their mortgage or something else. Anyway, guys, go ahead, hit like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to y'all later.